Thank you.
Someone was asking me a question about this uh, this chalk line. So it's actually filled with chalk to take the top off. This one's got red chalk in it. You can get different colours. The red is permanent, waterproof as well, I think. Um, it's a really simple but a really effective tool. As you see, you just hook it over one end, go to the other end, lift it vertical, snap it, and it creates an absolutely perfectly straight line and then you can cut to that line. These marsh flies, they're actually biting me through, <laughs> through these trousers. Um, they're actually quite bad this weekend. They're worse than they were two weekends ago when I was down here. Um, the married trees are still, still flowering. So um, yeah, my recollection from last year is they only hang around for about four weeks and then they go away and find someone else to annoy. But uh, yeah, they're biting me right through these clothes. So. Uh, <laughs> I'm actually having to spray insect repellent on the outside of my clothes as well as on my bare skin. Anyway. Okay, so um, you can see I've done all of the, the floor joists and the second band of uh, joists <laughs> uh, around the side. Anyway, um, fairly happy where I've got to today. I made a couple of mistakes. I put a board across the back, which I didn't want to do, so I took that off. I put a 6x2 there when really I wanted an 8x2, so I had to take that off do that again. Um, that's what happens when you do things on the fly. Don't really have any plans for this. I'm just sort of, just sort of making it up as I go along. I did a rough sketch, um, but I left that in Perth. So <laughs> um, uh, it's time to have a shower now and put on a clean shirt and go to the pub. Righto. So um, we have here the essential ingredients of a shower. I've got no running water here, so I've got to make do with what I've got. Bucket, a tank fitting, that's a spout off a watering can which is gaffer taped to a, a hose, a hose sprinkler thing. There's a hose fitting, a hook, pulley, some rope. Stick that'll come in handy later, and of course, some soap. It's got a hole in it. Thank you. 
I've been thinking about some ways that I can make some improvements to this bar. I've got two ideas. First one is some lights. Second one is some people. If any viewers have any ideas then feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'm drinking a um, Cooper's Pacific Pale Ale. Bred in South Australia, delivers tropical and citrus fruit flavours with a distinct dry hop character and crisp bitterness. It's not dissimilar to that Little Creatures Pacific Pale Ale that I reviewed a couple of weeks ago. Um, I think this has got a, a stronger finish to it. Um, it says it uses Cooper's Pale Malt, Melba and Galaxy Hops, 4.2% alcohol. Um, I think I prefer it slightly over the Little Creatures one. Uh, it was, I think it was $64 for a box of 24, so it's getting up there in terms of price. Although you get 10 cents refund per can at participating depots if you recycle them. Pretty good. Recommend it. I didn't mention it earlier, but last night I just reversed my ute into this area here and I saw a snake coming right past here, it's quite a big one. Um, I've owned this property since January last year, so you know, 13, 14 months, and uh, I've never seen a snake, although clearly there, there's probably loads of them around, loads of other reptiles, lizards and uh, it's only a couple of scorpions and there's bats and all sorts of other interesting things. But anyway, this snake came past right where I'm standing. Um, so just there is where I, where I do my milling. Um, I had a digital, a small digital camera on the passenger seat of the car. So I quickly switched it on and got a video. I'll show it after this. Fortunately, the dogs, I've got no dogs with me this weekend. Um, I've got no doubt that if dogs have been with me when I'd seen that snake, especially the little kelpie, they probably would have gone for it and uh, obviously come off second best. I don't know what sort of snake it was, um, but it doesn't really matter around here. They're all they all command respect. They're all uh, they're all deadly. So um, I mean, they won't you know they won't bite you unless you stand on them or they'll bite a dog if a dog corners it or or goes for it. Hopefully, the dogs scare the snakes off before before they come across them but you know a situation like that where a snake comes past a dog uh, uh, especially my dogs the little one she's only a year old and um, yeah I reckon she'd probably go for it and so it's a bit of a concern but anyway it's a risk that you, you take when you bring dogs to rural parts of Australia there's um, there's snakes there's also um, baits poison baits for, uh, for feral animals that dogs can pick up there's none around here uh, as far as I can tell, so that's a good thing. But they can be, you know, in uh, in, in national parks and state forests. There's a state forest a couple of kilometres that way, so quite possible there's baits in there. Anyway, first snake I've seen since I've been here. No doubt there's thousands more out there somewhere. Well, that's all I've got time for this week, so thanks for watching and see you back down here next time.